Thank you. Okay, um, welcome to the uh, July meeting for the Board of Water and Sewer Commissioners. Uh, Chairman Jay Spall is, uh, is out today, he's not here, so I'm standing in as, as chairman for this meeting. Um, so we've got the minutes from uh, June 6th. There's a copy in everybody's packet. Well, we accept the minutes from June 6th. Second. Okay, a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. All right, Darius. Okay. Lucas, what's up? Uh, right the lot 61 of Juniper Lane. Okay. Lucas for permission to hook up sewer water. Juniper Lane. Yes. Is that, is that going to be uh, number eight? Next, yeah, because I did two this year and a half ago. I did on number 10, I built the house over there. Okay, that's a right before the color set. Yeah, so that's so you're gonna come down one, yeah. I did this one six. Okay, three, I believe that already has yeah, it's right on the behind the curve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this George Juniper Lane is up on that new part of Alton Drive, yeah. We have okay. to go up and back, okay. Yeah, up and the, oh, up and back, yeah, yeah, yeah. The very end, on the very end, yeah, yeah, right up by the soccer field by Shop Hill. Yep. So there's right. probably what one more lot left. That's the last the, one. This is the last that's one. That's yeah. the last one. I did the house on the, on the yep. lot, the number ten right now. I did like year and a half. It's going to be house number eight because ten yes. is already. But there's already water and sewer tie-in already on, onto his property. Well, when okay, so when, when, when they when they when they just the yeah when they hook the system up, yep. they brought the uh, sewer over there and they brought the water line over to the property. So everything is behind the curve. Yeah, everything's there. Oh, so we're good to go then. Yeah, he's he's good to go. Okay. Um, hey, so paid off? I guess we need a um, we need to make a motion for that. Right, no, no, it's a single family house. Though, yeah, right? I'm going to do like three bedroom houses. Okay, so that's going to do is yes. Oh, after the board vote first. Okay. So I make a motion that we give permission to tie the water and sewer to Mr. Zegler of Kimberly. Second. Okay. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Did anybody go over the fees with you and all that stuff? Yeah. Yes. All right. So just fill this all yes. out. Yeah. Get it all set. Before I this time, yeah. And then you uh, are good to go. Thank you, guys. Good. All right. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh boy, I'm being tested now. Pita, Skoshlas. Very good. <laughs> well, with, with a name like that, I guess I. I you better get it right. <laughs> Similar to yours. <laughs> so yeah, I would like to. Um, Connect the water to my house. Uh, the problem is, I found the arsenic in the water in my well. Uh, okay, you got arsenic in your well. Yes. All right, she lives on what? Fairview? Fairfield? Fairfield. 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 Which one's Fairfield? Right before June Street. Down okay, yeah, not basically. All right, down to the lake. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I found the arsenic in the water. Yeah. Yeah. And I know so far that there is no water lying there. Our street. Oh, there's no water on that road at all. Well, there's a the house right before her. Yes. Anglingham, many years ago, back in 1983, 84, his well went bad. He yeah. ran the water main down to the beginning of his property and stopped. At the yes. bottom of no, the hill? No, no. On at the, the very first house going oh, down. Just at the first house on the left. On the left, going oh, down. Yeah. Okay. okay. I know what it is. And at that time, the uh, board voted that he could do it at the beginning of his property. Now, at this time, the board is requiring that you have to bring it to the end of your property. Yes. Okay. Oh, for right. the next okay. Yeah. So, yeah. where the water main is now, down to her house, I measured it, measured it out today, is 350 feet. Ouch. All right, so she has to run a six inch water main down the street to the end of her property and put a hydrant in. From the hydrant? Is it From the hydrant, yes. Yeah. Is there yeah. a way to petition the abutters or anything? To it's all, it's not an overnight process. It's probably taking six months to a year. What? No. Well, the whole thing is, is she gets the okay to contract to get it done before snow flies. Oh, you're going to pay for it to do that on the whole street? Down well, we're down to her property. No, no, See, but the whole problem is, guess who, owns, <laughs> who owns the properties in, in between her and where she's going to pick the line? Well, it's it's going to be on town property. The water main will be on top of the property. Right 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 yeah, here's my point. If she pays to connect the line from the hydrant down past hers and puts a hydrant in, yep. and someone comes in and buys a piece of property in between, 
they want to hook into the water, they they she should benefit for that because she paid for the line. It, that's no, that's it, why it's been. No, no, no. But after one year, well, okay. for a certain amount of time, the town owns that water meet. We are responsible for the water meet. Then we own it. They we own it. So yeah. if the person across the street decides after one year, I want to tie into town water because right. my well's bad. Right. Gee, you can I just, get it. You know I what I'm saying? That's not a good taste. I thought that they can tie in whenever they want. They don't have to wait a year. Well, right. they could well, tie, well, tie in at the Hearns. Everybody can get, I don't know your neighbors, but if they wanted to, you put it in at your cost. That, I don't think there's any medium to force them to reimburse her. Well, no, my point no. was I don't think it's quite fair if she pays for the line from the top of the hill all the way down. I know the road. That's quite a ways. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of pipe. You know, that but who's going to pay for it? it? She has she to has pay. Uh, I understand that. My next question is how much do I have to pay? All right, well, that's a lot of We're tying, in, tying into the town water with a six-inch main is $8,000 just to be able to tie in. Okay? Okay. And right, then you're going to run 350 feet of pipe down here, six-inch. And that goes for what, uh, 30, maybe $35 a foot? Okay, that's just the material. Okay. Now you need a contractor to put it in. Okay, so. It's going to be 15 to 20,000 bucks at least. Yep. Um, but, but wait a minute, if you have an ours, ours thing, you, everyone else has to have it too. And she can't be the only one there. Well, that's the, that's the question. That's I was the question. Sick. Nobody probably tested for but it, you, and I, they don't know. And I don't know this, but if you went to the Board of Health, with the, with the issue. I, I asked the neighbors, but they. No, not neighbors. The health goes down there and tests the water and says, you all have a problem, and it's a different story. You know what I mean? I get that. I that's a good analogy because if that's the case, then the water, the line might be paid for by everybody. I don't know if somebody yeah, else Because, no, I, I, yeah, I feel your possible. pain because if you put that whole line and you put a hydrant in, then exactly. two people in the middle could have it. They didn't pay for any of that that's line. A, you that's a health hazard. Yeah. The you know. kids live down there and everything. Mm -hmm. And that's the real, it, beyond, problem is you can't get water at the house. Water doesn't test well. That's not a, our issue. We'll give anybody, so speaking from, by myself, but typically we give people the right to tie into the water and sewer line. Right? Right. So the real issue is, do you want to pay for it, everyone on your street to be able to tie in? No. Or no. do we, and then the other thing is, is that do we have a health issue down there? And then that's a different avenue. And that's the town might have a health issue, but our board doesn't. I, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So, oh. uh, so we don't have, in a, in a nutshell, we do not have a meeting except saying, sure, you can tie in. You're going to figure out how to do it. And, and we have no other way to assist that I can think of. Or, alternative two is, if for me, I'd go to the board and say, hey, Houston, we have a problem. Take care of this. Well, the other, the other thing, too, is that she may want to go see the, the neighbors saying, hey, I'm thinking about running a water main down here. Do you want to pitch in and help me so you can get joined into the to town water? The, the problem is the water line is on my side, and the, the neighbor from left. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There, 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 there is water line right across the road. The service right across the road. To yeah, the that's all. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's no big deal. He already yeah, has, do it all he the, already time. Has the water, town water. water. Because that's the only house that has the water from right. the town. Right, Th that's the reason he did it, because his, he had arsenic in his right. well. Exactly. So Are there any neighbors between her and the line? Excuse me? Are there neighbors between her and the line? Yeah, across the street. No. Yeah, I believe there's two houses. There's two houses. No, other plots of land. From where the hydrant is to your house, right? There's two houses. On the other side. Yeah, yeah. Two, two on the other side of the street. Yes. Yeah. So my, my question is, I don't know all the, I know Fairfield, you drive in, there's a white house in the corner of the grid, so you go down the hill, right? Right yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I'm going that's down to Hill. Geotis used to live over here. That's she the house she lives that's in. That's my house. You're in Geotis's house. Right. right. Oh. And the house before her used the to be big Ingram white house. house. Big Ingraham's white house. house. It's brown. Not the big white house, but whatever. It used to be brown. Yeah. So Ingraham had a problem as well. So he tied into Mason Road and brought the water main down to the beginning of his property and put hydrant in. And he brought his water service into his house. So all she has to really do is bring it the whole length of her property in. And, and yeah. the other property because we didn't. We didn't have a law back then that yep. says it has to go to the end of the property. So if it went to the end of the property, it would be only a couple hundred feet. Yeah. Oh, so 
Yeah. If it went to the floor, not the after. Yeah. 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 I thought she was down the hill. No, no, no. She said she was I at your house. Yeah. yeah, so she has to bring it that the water main all the way down to the end of her property. Yeah. And so your property is pretty wide. It is. Yeah. It is. A couple of hundred feet. That's yeah. 300 feet of frontage. Like I said, I measured yeah. from the hydrant, hydrant down to the end of her property is 350 feet. Yeah, well, I don't know a way, way around that. And there, there is nobody in between. I mean, there well, is. On the opposite uh, side of the street. There right. a property owner in between? No. 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 Okay. I mean, so there it's is you a. It, the two like properties are on all the way to the end of her from the top of there. Well, two lots. I'm going to go to the end of her lot. Yeah, right. And then her lot. But it's no. Right. Nobody wants that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The woods behind the street. They never drive as well in the backyard. Yeah. Well, my, my point is this. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure they, they're not going to pay for it because they they live behind the first house. Okay? Yeah. So they drive. They drive the driveway, driveway is... Oh, you're talking about the house way, way back there. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're still on a walk. Yeah, and between me and the neighbor, it's the just road that belongs to that house. Okay. Kind of right away. Because he owns the whole um, woods from the top to the bottom of the lake. Yeah. Well, that's he owns be, that. Is that Levy Hutchinson? That's um. Uh, the house was just way back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we all, yeah, no, that's that. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, uh, this is my suggestion to the board. Um, to say to a yes, she can tie in. It's going to co cost eight thousand dollars to tie into town water. Um, usually, when anybody extends a water main, we make it put in eight inch. But there's already a six inch coming down, and the six inch on Mason Road. So it'd be kind of foolish to make her put in an eight inch. Right. That's so right. if we stick with eight, it we stick with six inch, all the way down to the end of our property. Uh, she, if maybe she can see the board of health in the meantime, see her neighbors, see if they want to join in, if they have problems with their wells, have water tests, and they got arsenic. Maybe the, the, the real problem for you is that well, is that if you do it yourself, pay to tie it in, your neighbors get a freebie. All you do is pay to come across exactly. the street. That's that's my I point. Know. I don't think that's what you want to do. If you went to the board of health. They may force the problem them, down. They yeah. may force all of you to tie in, and therefore share the cost right like a sewer <coughs> yeah but she can't be the only one that wrote with a problem yeah if, if one well has asthma yeah. then they all well they all relatively well, we new houses down there after yours right that's a lot of yeah. that's yeah. a lot of that's Where's a lot that, that, that guy i mentioned from the bridge yeah. 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 they're gonna run down the hill yeah yeah, yeah. well yeah. as of right now I suggest the board that give her the, the okay to tell you in. Sure. Yeah. Let her, now she had, she knows she had, can get into town water. Now let's play, the, she can play the game of how. I mean, you know, I, I have a child. I don't want to risk myself and my child. Yeah. No, right. Well, if we I know that. I have yeah. something in the water that I don't want to drink, yeah. you know. So what are you doing in the meantime? Just buying the water to drink, you know, for yeah, the buying cooking. Buying water, yeah. okay, yeah. you just water, yes. you yeah, and we are using the shower for, you know, for Yeah, the I don't know if that... Well, here's another scenario, too. If she finds out that all the neighbors want to tie in down water, maybe the water pump wants to run down a water main and pick up 25 customers. That's a good answer. Well, yeah. I think I agree with you 100%, but you have to petition them to first the others. Well, that's what I'm saying. Unless, unless, and that's what I'm saying, it could take a year, unless it becomes a water health issue. And they kind of say, hmm, every well in this area has a fair problem. That's the same thing that happened on... Then you're uh, it'll expedited. Learn, learn, learn it becomes learn, more of a learn learn town event, if you will, and you're not stuck with all the burden. I'm, I'm a learner or one winner. I know. There's, I know. No, there's no filter you can put on your water coming in that you can put arsenic? There is some yes. filters that yes. you can do. They are not cheap either, but... I rather to have the town water than. You should rather have clean water than clean up the dirty water. Clean up the dirty water, right, exactly, yeah. and yeah. worry if it's still <coughs> there or not. You know. Yeah, I'm just thinking though, if you, if you're the only person stuck with the bill, it may be cheaper to buy a 
filtering system. It cost you ten grand, but it's going to cost you twenty to do it by yourself. Well, uh, twenty grand is just a pipe. That ain't laying yeah. in the ground yet. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean? it's, it's a oh, tough boy. spot. But just give a permission to tie into town. I'll make a motion that we give permission for. Uh, Forgive me, but I will not try that last name. <laughs> for nine Fairfield Drive, the so tie into water. Okay. Yeah, that's a little easy. And I, yeah. I'll that's second the motion. Uh, with a six inch water main and a high drive. Sure. Yeah. To meet all the requirements as John uh, recommends or requires. How do you say it last name? Scotchulus. Scotchulus. Right? Yeah. And what's it mean? What's it translate to? It's a French name, right? Okay, we've, got a <laughs> <motion>. <laughs> we've got a motion. <laughs> oh, that's a cool <laughs> I know that. I know. We have a second. I second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 So Thank check you. into check into um, with the board of health and okay. see if there is some. There may be other avenues to help pay for it. All right. Okay. I talked to the neighbors too. And talk to your neighbors. I'd ask the neighbors. You know, if I bring this pipe down, will you help me? And you guys can tie in, and you can give them a little deal on it, maybe. You know, you get what you want, but then you don't have to pay for the whole thing. Okay. You, right. you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's a way to circumvent the price. Do you can make some more. You can lay that line. Do you have some contract that you can call to get a price? Yes. So do you need a call? Yes. Um, that would be great. Well, I'll drop one off for you tomorrow at your house. Okay. I'll put, I'll put the fire okay. that that does the, these guys are um, insured through the town and not insured through the town, but. Uh, they work right. for the town they, on a regular basis. Yes, yeah, so they, they do work around Dudley. Yeah, okay. they, so they do this work all the time, so they'll give them a call, get a price from them, so you can get an idea what it's time. Okay? Right. So I'll drop a piece okay. of paper tomorrow at your house. Okay, Thank you. If you have any other questions, come back and see us. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Nice. The what? It's messing up the audio on the recording. That's, That's good. good. Nobody's, listening. Nobody's listening anyways. Uh, okay. I'm sweating now. I know. Let's make it an audio as well. Let's, <laughs> okay. Let's uh, okay, next uh, we've got the uh, vote to transfer the 2003 F-350 truck from sewer department to the highway department. Just the, just the paperwork trail. They already have the truck. We told you at our last <laughs> meeting. Just paperwork trail. We're just saying they boys go boy. Do they ever nope. get a new truck? Yeah. Yep. I make a motion. We transfer. Oh, you're talking about the highway or yeah, water? Highway. You have 350 thing. from the sewer department to the highway department. A second. Okay. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. The next one is the. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm jumping ahead of you. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, but, uh, under uh, permits, when, when we were talking about charging uh, people 350 yeah. for the permits, well, in your in your uh, packet, we sent. Uh, these questions to the town administrator, the town administrator gave it to the town attorneys. And this is what they're saying. So you may want to look this over and saying we can't profit money. If we do do this, we have to have a public hearing on it. So we can't what money? We can't profit. Profit? This. It's all outlined here um, from uh, it's Brian Falk from Merrick O'Connell. Um, Basically, any kind of fees we charge have to be for co you know what what it costs us cost to do business. Good. We can't be we can't generate fees or increase fees in order to generate a profit or to, to generate uh, revenues uh, excess revenue for that so particular event for any for that particular event yeah for so that type of event yeah so all the fees in town need to be adjusted then absolutely. There's no way it costs them 15 bucks to process a, a 25 bucks to process a dog license. There's no way. Yeah. That's ridiculous. But in any <coughs> case, we just have to. Uh, uh, there, his major concern, from what I read, was that the second option, where you're uh, the extension, you, you charge the fee, and then if they want to extend it, it's fifty dollars, and then it doubles, and then that it was doubles. Well, if you double, if you're doubling from year to year, is there a double in? Our what, cost. What, what are the fees again to pay into the sewer, to the water and sewer? Right now, for the, for the fee for the uh, water department, it's three hundred fifty dollars just for the permit fee. Then it's two thousand dollars to be able to tie into town water. 
And then if we tap the water main, it's another two thousand dollars. What was the eight grand this late that we said this? That is, the, that's what we charge for connection fee to our water main. If you're going to run an eight inch, uh, uh, eight inch main, six to an eight inch, six to twelve inch main is eight grand to be able to tie into our water main and bring the water main down the street. No. But what? All right. So getting back to what the lawyer said, where did we get eight grand? Because I, again, I cannot. Looking from what we just stated, there's no way the cost incurred by the water department or the sewer department is equal to those fees charged or any other fee in town in this town. So if that's the law, it would be a different issue. We'll, we'll have to look we'll have to look at that. It's um and I know half the town's going, shut up, Scott. And well for Mass General <laughs> Laws chapter forty yeah, but, section. But we're not changing anything in here. This that's all we're doing is charging yeah. someone they, if for a permit. If they come in and challenge that eight thousand bucks we have to justify that. Oh, well, I have to send two guys down, and they have to do this, and if there's a truck fee, there's fuel, there's the hourly rate, there's yada, 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 and that's how I get to this number. I don't think we have that. Oh. I'm, not I'm, not, I'm just playing devil's advocate based on what you just said. As of right now, for the last 20 years, we never had a problem. I think we just overcame it. <laughs> but just, it's not rocket science. It's, we'll have to do uh, some more research on it <laughs> to figure out okay. what we can do and how we can do it. Um, so, in any case, because we want to, if we want to raise fees or or change fees, we have to have a public hearing. In any case, so yeah. I think we need to sit down and line this up a little bit better. Right. It's going to take a little bit more uh, legwork. Do we? Do when we do the budgeting process? I know that you're on the water side, but on the sewer side, we used to get the fixed costs, not sewer side, but the sewer side. Um, we used to get the fixed cost divided by the number of users, and that was the fixed fee charged every year. All right? And then, you with me? Are yep. you talking we, about the, what the town charges I'm us? talking about no, 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 talking no. our budget. I'm talking about the school budget. We, we, we charge our customers. So, so let me finish, and I'll get to the head question. But the, so you take five expenses, uh, uh, your salary, uh, John's salary, and you add it up. And that's your fixed cost, because if you guys are working Crazy. Uh, I know you're talking. Or, or you're not doing anything, we're going to pay that bill. That's right. our fixed cost. Mm -hmm. Take that divided by the number of users. That's the fee that the fixed fee that everyone pays on sewer. I'm not sure if water is the same, so forgive me. No, it is. And then the very only true variable cost we ever had was the bill from Webster. That was divided by the number of cubic feet that we go through the meters. So we get a rate per cubic foot that you use from your billing, but there was a fixed fee that everyone paid. So my question simply becomes when's the last time that rate was looked at? And changed, and I would assume it's had to have gone up over the years as the budget has gone up, but I'm not sure because I haven't seen it in years. And so, do we still do the budget that way? The way we do the budget is the rates that way, I'm sorry. Right. Do, we look at our budget, we see what our, what, what our budget is, okay, yep. what our income is, okay, on a, on a water site, okay, we get so much for indirect costs, we get so much for backflow testing mm -hmm. for people. Then we, have, then we have the uh, $35 guaranteed every quarter from every household that uses the water. Then we have the two-step rate structure that comes in. Okay. The other thing is, is how many houses do we think is going to be tying into the water system this year, okay, at $4,000 a pot, all right? And if you figure out if somebody's going to tie in the water main, it's all figured into these numbers. But on every, every one that, what our budget is, every year we turn around and give back about $30,000. who? Back into retained earnings. Okay. Okay. So we have money set aside for uh, capital improvement stuff like sure. that, but that's also for emergency yeah. whatever comes up. That's that, that's logical. I'm not disputing that. So on, on the sewer side, do we still do it? What I just mm -hmm. said. Yeah. They do it that same exact way. Right. Yeah. So you guys have the spreadsheet from years ago. You fill in your costs. Well, we don't, don't have a spreadsheet. We just look at it because it's been the same for so long. So we're just adding how many more houses do we think it's going to be tying into town water, into town sewer, and that's additional. Uh, we haven't changed our rates in a while. And it, have we generated uh, uh, what's it called, free cash or? You got four hundred fifty thousand dollars in, in, into retained earnings. We have. What? Yeah, yeah. sewer. You have. Yeah, yeah, until you bought the trucks. Okay. Yeah. But you have over four hundred thousand dollars in retained earnings right now. 
the water department has almost a million. Yeah, there, there's another side to this too, in that when you when you one of the things we told the town when we did phase one, two, and three is that eventually you're going to take these fixed costs, spread them over more people. The average cost per person is going to come down. So at the end of and I know I've said this before, but at the end of those phases, when we pay back the bonds, at the end of that, the budget's all also going up naturally. But there should be a decrease in the cost. No, of money. no, that's crazy. You, you your can't station, have a you, decrease because your stations are falling apart. Right, I you're gonna get. You have to update your station. This is where your money's for. Good. So put that in the. Is that in the budget money for that? That's when we. That's when we pull out of retained earnings. Okay, we need this new like the station. We all need new pumps and all that. There are 1960-inch motors. All right, you're blowing you're blowing money on electricity. The pumps are running longer. Now you get the new ones that are energy okay. saving. They pump less. You're, you're yeah, eventually going to end up totally cognizant money. of all that. I'm trying to get to, do we have a logical approach to come out with a number so that one thing as a consumer, and I don't have water in the sewer, but as a consumer, I wouldn't want to see, uh, 15 years ago we had a uh, surplus of 600,000, so I don't know, and, which is fine. There has to be a number that we have to get to that we should not exceed. So if we need four new pumping stations or 100 grand a piece, there's 400 grand there, maybe you need 100,000 beyond that. And always run your budget to keep a kitty of 500,000. That's exactly what I'm talking about. But don't grow it to two or three million. No. You know, that's what I'm saying. So That's why with the water department, what we just did, Mill Road and Pine Street, mm -hmm. we had two million dollars. Capital improvement, I agree. Okay, so when that project was done, we wrote a check out for a million dollars in here. Yeah. Paid for There's no loan, there's no nothing. You know, that's right. what the money is for. You save up so much for future projects. I understand. But we have to be careful that we don't get too. We don't. You know. We have to be careful that we don't uh, don't put too much yeah. into it because then, you know, that's that whole. Well, thing. you have to start doing your way. Right. But if you're doing your, your, right. you you your maintenance yeah. right along and you're keeping up with what you have going in the system right. and the problems yes. that are there, then you're spending that money. Now the wages go up, the benefits change, the insurance, I, the chemicals. I'm with you. Right. I, you understand all that. I just wanted. My very point is that we have a logical approach, and and if the budget stays the same that we have people understand, hey, we were spending, I don't know what the numbers are, so forgive me, but 20 grand a year on the bond for phase three, that's now gone, so that 20 grand a year is now going to go into capital improvements, like a new pumping station, might be upgrade electronics, might be replaced pipe in an area where it's right. leaking and causing flood. I don't know, I'm just saying we need to, we need to have a list to support those numbers in case anybody ever challenges that's us. That's what the INI study is going to do. When we get the INI study back, they're going to have a list of what needs to be done where, and it's going to have price costs, what's going to be done. And the board will sit here and look at it and say, what, what's the best bang for our buck? Sure. And right. figure out how to get it done. So every time you're saving something, saving any uh, groundwater coming in, that's <laughs> less Webster's going to start charging him because it's going to drop. So you're going to figure out the water pump. When I took over the water pump in 1986, we were pumping 1.2 million gallons a day. My daily average now is 550,000. Yeah, good. All right. So our electricity went down, our chemicals went down, everything went down, and we, our rates stayed the same, same for the last 10, 15 years. You know, so we're making, we're getting money back in, so we were doing water main projects. If we do Gotta replace system. all that uh, transite, yeah. get it all out of there. Right. I mean, we have a brand new water main from New Boston Road to the lights at West Main Street, all the way up West Main Street, up Airport Road to the tank on uh, Bates Tank. You got a brand new water main from the four corners of Nichols College, all the way down to JBF. You have a brand new water main on June Street, all the way down to June Street. You got a brand new water main on New Boston Road, Carpenter Road. Uh, okay, we just did Mill Road. You know, so we're getting out of the road. That's good. That's what, so that's what I'm saying. That's where we use our money. We take this for the biggest bang for our buck. Yeah, all right. The, okay. the only other thing I've, you know, stop at this. But the only thing I would do is look at the fees and try to come out find the documentation. Well, don't that, forget, we still have to make enough money to pay our rent. You know, the town charges us $391 a day for the office. Yeah. So, I don't think too many people realize that, but I cracked that number up a little bit. I was pretty surprised it's that high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, it, and, and the only, you know, the other side to that is that when, when you do get a surplus that's put aside for free cash for capital projects, they don't hear, all they hear is like Charlie Brown's teacher, blah, 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 gotcha. blah, blah. They have money. Right. And that's why you see the indirects, hey, they're, they're that's you what know, they get the money coming in. Let's, you know, let's find a creative a way to stick costs in the water and sewers. 
That's what happens. That's, that's a lot of money. That's what they're saying. That's why they want to go DPW. They save money. Yeah, you're not going to save any money going DPW because okay, you're going to add two okay. positions. Let's, so let's stay with let's the agenda. Okay. Um, okay uh, water sewer report. All right, so that was the sewer department. Uh, they were shorthanded all month. Each guy was taking weeks off to use up the vacation time and all that. <coughs> the generator on uh, Brentwood Ave wouldn't run more than five minutes. They changed the fuel line, the filter, everything. And you got the highway mechanic up there to look at it. He couldn't figure it out. So we ended up getting a um, Billiton Cat Company come in and they had to replace the fuel rack. So the generator is all fixed. Um, okay. They cleaned out all the pump stations, wet wells, washed it all down, degreased them, and, and had Eminem suck all the grease out of them. Uh, they jetted Chase Ab and uh, Brandon Road. They were painting outside of the building, doing some maintenance on the place. The I and I study is all done, just waiting for the final report. It's supposed to be the DEP by the end of June. Ty and Bourne sent a letter to DEP asking for an extension, telling them that the the uh, meters are out, the, the, uh, the all the numbers are together, we had the meters, we did what we needed to do, they just gotta pull all the numbers together. DEP granted them an extension. So once they're all done, we'll get the report on what's what the I and I Do you know how long the extension was? I think it was a month or two. Um, we should get up by the end of the summer anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to let you know, uh, they, they will be jetting at night in August, okay? They're going to jet West Main Street. That hasn't been jetted in over five years. So it's less traffic. The guy's going to work at night, check the stations in the morning, and it's not going to be overtime. They're going to go home. So if they're going to work, work their eight home. hours in the middle of the night, check the stations and go home. At least West Main Street, like I said, it's been over five years since it's been done. Good job. So they're going to get that done, cleaned up, and some other places might have, might be a great way to do it. You know, have them work at night, and anything happens, my guys are trained already on a suicide too, vice versa. So anything we're doing a day while those guys are in bed sleeping, we can take care of it. Are we still gonna have a cruiser there? Oh, definitely. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, cruiser. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And that's it for the sewer department. All right, on the water department, same thing. Short end. Everybody using up all the time. Okay, we repaired the leak at one second Ave. 10 Central Ave. We had two main breaks last Saturday, one at uh, Lakeside and one at Sunnyside. Uh, Brian passed his D2 test and then he went and took his D3 test and passed that. Okay. Because okay, the class D2 and D3 are the same class. So he passed his D2 and two weeks later he went and took his D3 and passed it. So he has a D3, the town only needs a D2, but he has a D3, so we're in good shape. Uh, Luke started class today taking his D1. So Luke started here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All right, now if this is a big problem, it's gonna be a big mess. Okay, whenever I told you about getting the tanks cleaned. All right, and DEP's requiring us to get it done. We have two quotes from them, and I have a problem that <coughs> the, company, the company that went and <coughs> did, did the tanks, the inspection and all that, Recommended stuff that they don't even do. Okay? So we had a hell of a time trying to find a company to come in to read their report to figure out what they need in, a, in less than a month without them going in and check the tank. The biggest problem I have right now is I was talking to Mark Devine. I mean, he wasn't charging us, just talking to him. That our tank up on top of 31 is made by Natgun. Natgun guarantees their tanks for 100 years. Okay? And one of the reports is saying that the outside of the tank needs to be painted because there's white stuff coming out. Well, that's lime coming out of the cement. I want to get Nat Gun to come down here, look at the tank, look on the outside for us, you know, make sure, that, yes, there's not no major, and like there's cracks on top, is that settling? Is it a major importance or like that? Nat Gun will know. This is their tank. So mm -hmm. that, I mean, um, it makes sense. If, if we've got a hundred year warranty on the tank, on a 20 year old right. tank, Right. Then it makes you know, sense this, to get this, them uh, in here to look at it. This, this one company, for just for the Trusty Hill Tank, they're looking at almost $290,000 to do the job. Uh, the exterior surface, $95,000 to paint the exterior surface. Exterior. With the gold? Uh, well, that's the, that's the problem I have, it, you know? So yeah. I'd like to get the company down there, and then maybe they will recommend the company, maybe we have to put another diver down there, see exactly what they can do, what needs to be done, so we'll write the DEP and say, 
this, this is the company that came down and did it, you know? I mean, they even, this company that came down and did the inspected tanks said the roof on top of uh, Bates' tank is dirty, it needs to be pressure washed. It's a rubber top tank. I mean, it's just ludicrous stuff. And uh, I, I'm just questioning, but the whole thing is we have to give, give them a number, okay, to keep me at the end of June, just to keep them off my back, up this proposal, blah, blah, blah. So now they wanted me to come up with a date when it, this is all going to be done. So I gave them the date of the second week in August of next year. Tell them that we have to go to the town meeting, get the money approved, yeah. get everything all set, you know, how to code all that. The biggest problem is when I was talking to DEP is when we backfeed the system when the standpipe is out on top of 31, mm -hmm. all right, we're going to have to backfeed the system from Mason Road all the way up to the Four Corners of Nichols College. Shepherd Hill cannot be in school because the pressure will not reach the third floor of the school. So now we're looking in summertime to do this job. And Nichols got to be out too. Mm -hmm. So it's a, that would make sense, though. That would make sense when everybody's using the least amount of water. Right. So that way we can throttle it down to 100. Right. Instead of 520 gallons coming out of our boost station, we can throttle it down maybe 100 gallons. And you can and, pick up and the rest on the other side of town, right? The other side of town, I'm not worried about. No, no. I mean, you wouldn't lose any. Pro you would have a problem over there. No, this the pressure would be right lower than what we normally have, like in my house in Ramsong Road. Right. Instead of uh, 60, 70, I'll probably have 40. 40, yeah. You know, it drops down. Yeah. Yeah. But it's only for a short period of time, just so right. everybody know. Right. Um, the biggest thing is, like I said, we're going to have to put a relief valve up on top of the hydrant up there. That when it hits a certain amount of pressure, the valve opens up. Play? No. It's a big room. Oh, no one's in there. Is it tonight? I don't think it's supposed to be. I don't know. Maybe they canceled it. I don't know. Okay. Thanks, guys. Sorry yeah. to interrupt. It's Thank water you. sewer. Um, we refill. So when the pressure, right now, what do you have? 25 pounds, 30 pounds up there. And once it gets to 40, the valve will open up. All right? And let the water go to waste. And once it the, the, the goes to back down to a certain pressure, the valve closes and let the builder pressure back up again. All right? And the other biggest part is fire protection. There won't be any fire protection on that side of town. So, yeah, man, this is a big deal, okay? So, like, this is what they want done. This is what I told her that, you know, the second week in August, we'll get it done. But especially with the standpipe, I want that going to come up there, look at their tank, and, this, yeah. and write a letter. This is only, um, what, did I, what did I say it was? Line. Well, line. Line. Line coming out yeah. of the cement. Cows, so, those cracks, they're nothing. They did nothing. If, you, if they need to be filled in, they'll, they'll fill them in the cracks, if anything. That's yeah. part of the guarantee, okay? Yep. So... I'd like that to get sense. them up here to make sure yeah. and knock off this price and get some real guy that knows yeah. what he's doing. Maybe. I mean, this is a company that came in recommending stuff that they don't even do. But maybe the company that we got the tag from can take care of this business for exactly. us. Exactly. If you know? they don't, they can get a company well, that knows what they're doing. That's what I meant. Take care of their thing. Right. And and it's the UP going to be happy with that. Yes. Yes. They just want the they tank clean. They just want it done. They want it cleaned and all that stuff. And that gun is, is their tank. Okay? Yeah. They will write a letter to the... Why didn't we call them in the first place? I don't know, George. I was out at the time when he got these guys to come in and do okay. the tank. Probably um, just didn't know. Okay. We, uh, have any of the towns got a letter like that from the EP? You know, we asked them, "Hey, what'd you guys do?" Because it's going to be a way for the EP to back off too. I mean, oh no, 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 no. That's why you have a sanitary survey every three years to go around and beat the hell out of you. Okay, and what you're doing wrong and what needs to be done. If you don't do it, you're not in compliance, and then they're going to start fighting. You don't want to poke that. Thing. No, no, you no. don't want to. You don't. don't want I just wondered if other towns. Oh yes, yes. Everybody, through everybody it, goes and, through it, and they may have a a way to mitigate some of the pain. No, nothing. They're, they're gods. Worcester was fighting that sewer expansion for how many years, and they lost. No, they're gods. I mean, we were fighting it when we were doing station three and six on the uh, corrosion control. I mean, we had a problem with the contract. We went went to Boston court. DEP didn't care. They find us because we would did the corrosion control was not online at the time. It was supposed to be online, and we get fined. So they're they're gods. You don't. Do they have to justify their cars and their fines? That's <laughs> <laughs> public sector. Hey, okay. uh, wait. What am I missing here? All right, main brakes. Brian Luke talked to DEP. Talked about the tank. Uh, that's. That's it, except I'm letting you board, the board know I am retiring at the end of August. August 31st, this I year? am done. Yes. I'm giving you a month and a half notice that I am all done. I'm going to be using up my time that's coming to me. 
But how many years you got in? Thirty six. I am tired about the one two o'clock phone calls. Thirty six. I've had it. That's why I stopped with the fire department. I had it. You know, it's I, I don't get paid for it and I done. Yeah. So nope. uh, in in the meantime, I, I George is going to be taking care of the water. I'll be still I'll be still under the boss, but George is going to take care of the water department. And Mike will be taking care of the sewer department. Call me if there's any problems or what they're doing. Just so I can say in August, they're going to be start. They're going to start jetting West Main Street. Start banging away things like that. And then we got meter reading in between, so they're going to be keeping busy. So um, when are you actually going out? Are you going out in August? But you I got five weeks vacation. I got personal time, and I got sick time. You're going to add that yeah. on to the August date, or no? It's no, staying no. in August. Now and then you're using all that. Yep. Yeah. Tomorrow's your last day, right? Well, more or less, well, yeah. well. So I'm using up my time that's coming to me. Right. But I said I'll be still, still have my phone until August 31st. Any problems come up for the guys, I can take care of the situation. But so you don't, you don't uh, find the protocol, or unless you guys already know what it is. So. We have to go through the personnel board. Um, we can't just hire from within. Well, we have to post it. Post it with <coughs> well, you don't forget that we only got one guy that's qualified. Right. Who's that? So George. George. The guy who, when you were out. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, so he, he did a good job. You know. Yeah. But the whole thing is, is he's talking about retirement too. So it, it's up to him if he's going <coughs> to take the job. But I'll talk to you guys after the meeting's over about what's going on. Um. I don't know. Okay. Um, other business. John, th um, thank you. I, I know. I know about this the other day. I didn't mention it. Told us. Huh? You could have told us. I, did, I didn't want anybody. Side. I didn't. I want. I didn't want anybody to know. I wanted the board to know first before I mentioned it to anybody else. Okay. Scott was on a, on a break with us, and I just I told him. I okay. told Jay when he was signing vouchers Monday, so he knows about it, and we do discuss some different things and take care of bad. He told me when he was playing golf, yeah. spanking him. I should say. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, other business. Um, well. We'll talk with that offline. Um, I, before we adjourn, though, um, I do want to say that I had the week of the fourth off. Um, amongst other things, I was I spent a lot of time around town, um, and I just want to commend the guys for it was a brutally hot week, and they busted their job, they busted their humps um, with those breaks, uh, the break on. Um, Working with uh, M and M on uh, Chowton Road, um, I spent a couple hours up there. I got some education, um, but it was just hot, and they worked. Uh, no griping, no. Um, and then Saturday, um, a main on the next street over, they split. Um, and <laughs> before I got a chance to take a walk over to see what was going on, um, I got a call from the board of selectmen. Um, saying that they got contacted through the uh, town website, town Facebook page about brown water on Chestnut Street. Uh, happens to be a friend of mine, um, friend of my wife. So I uh, called John, and they no sooner got done with the break over off of Mason Road, and they were off to a break down on Sun Sunnyside. Sunnyside. Um, uh, I don't know what time they got done, but that, that one didn't start until about 8 o'clock. Yeah, they got done at 11 o'clock. The guys were tired. Uh, the water department has a line item in there as differential cost. And I got someone from the highway department. I called Danny Guy and I needed a laborer to help my guys dig. I mean, they were tired all day. Timmy came in, so. And it was hot and nasty, and, and they, did a, they did a great job doing some, uh, doing some dirty work. Um, so um, good job with that. Um, any update on intern stuff, or is that just going to be off until, until yes, September? Okay, been. okay, mm -hmm. that that can push off. Um, uh, that's I think that's it. Second, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned. Seven fifteen.